Welcome to the Giz Express review of Retina MacBook Pro. So let's unwrap this new MacBook here. Quickly take the this polyton off. And there it is. Let's take the cover off and see what's different here. So there you go. It looks pretty much the same from the top. Uh, yeah, there's not much difference from the top here. But definitely when you pick this up, you can see it's thinner than the previous generation MacBook Pro. It also feels quite thin because the edges are tempered. So it does really look thin from a distance. And then I can also feel that it's lighter. It's about a pound lighter from the previous generation MacBook Pro. Uh, so let's keep that aside for now. You also get this new MagSafe 2 power adapter. And this is the power cable for that power adapter. This is the UK version. There you go. And you also get that documentation like you get it with every other MacBook and uh, Apple products. Let's see what's inside. So it's the old Hello Hey, which has got all your basic stuff uh, that you probably don't need that. And then the guarantee stuff and the good old Apple logos some cleaning material and I also custom ordered uh, this uh, gigabit Ethernet Thunderbolt adapter which is quite useful because this MacBook doesn't come with the Ethernet port so I'll hook everything together and catch you in a bit so let's look at the weight here it definitely feels lighter it is much lighter than my MacBook Pro 13 inch and now on the side on the left hand side you got the SD card slot HDMI full HDMI which is new for Apple and a USB 3.0 2.0 combo on the left hand side <coughs> you got a headphone jack which can also be used to plug in headsets and then another USB 3.0 2.0 combo there you go and then you got two Thunderbolt adapters, two of them, and then this new MagSafe 2 adapter. Let's look at the best part of this uh, MacBook, the Retina display. Now the wallpaper on the display definitely looks very sharp, very crisp. I can say they do look like an actual picture on a wall. Look at the dark tones. Wherever there is dark, you can't see anything. It just looks like black. Absolutely black. So they have done really good work with this screen. This is definitely the best part of this laptop. Other than that, everything else looks pretty much like a MacBook Pro. Uh, there is no MacBook Pro logo now in front, which is a slight difference but uh, rest of it looks the same but the best part is the screen for sure that's the best however that does come with a problem as well because most of the apps especially the third-party apps are not optimized for this high resolution display so uh, things does get blurry sometimes now let's look at the anti-glare this is really a black display as you can see this old MacBook Pro here has got a much lighter display you can see the glass on that on this one it doesn't feel like it's got any glass and actually it doesn't indeed uh, on this one the light that's coming from the window you can see actually uh, the curtain but here you just see the light and the darkness around it but I'll show you this old MacBook again you can see the curtain if you just look at it carefully you can see it along with the light and that shows the difference between its uh, new anti-glare display now let's check out the speed of this blazing fast new MacBook Pro everything opens really fast look at this that's Photoshop uh, all these uh, Photoshop image editing uh, video editing applications 
they're just a breeze they work absolutely fine opens closes instantly uh, no problem whatsoever now let's compare the text uh, and uh, the blurriness of the old applications so if we open this old google chrome this is not the beta one this is the old one which is not optimized for this display and look at this test uh, google search and open that on safari which is optimized for new display now i'm not sure if you can see that but this is very sharp very crisp and this is blurry and that's basically what you're going to find when you open most of the old apps uh, and uh, you can see the difference because you got uh, the sharpness of the new uh, optimized text of the os but the application are not optimized for it now there are a lot of geekbench and uh, performance videos on youtube for this laptop but uh, let's go and see a practical test so if i go to youtube and open a full 1080p uh, pixel to pixel video let's see how this laptop performs when i used to use my old macbook uh, if you play a 1080p hd video uh, it used to start the fan the fan used to kick off and uh, especially when it's a flash video but let's look at it here i haven't heard the fan yet uh, all the time doing this video even editing this video so this is a full 1080p uh, Oh, that's really sharp really looks good the colors are really good the darkness is especially good and I can't hear the fan at all not at all so the performance I've seen till now everything normally 90% of the work is a breeze everything quits so fast you can see here it just it this computer shuts down almost instantly in two to three seconds uh, most of the time that's really good now let's look at the customary hard disk test it actually is performing much better than the first day i got this it's well over 400 uh, at that time it was just touching 400 so that's the write speed and the read speed is also well over 400 it's actually nearly 445 which is quite good the sound is really good much better than previous generation MacBook Pro. So the only problem is that the apps needs to be optimized for this new Retina display. I'll show you the Google Chrome Retina Beta version browser uh, which just came out. This is the YouTube full screen for that browser. It doesn't look good, does it? So if you're looking for a high and powerful laptop with a very sharp display, for photo and video editing and a solid state drive for very fast speed and a very high end processor then this is the one to buy this is a giz express review please rate subscribe and comment thanks very much for watching